Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the link in the description as well as in the bio. Just go to book now to schedule directly on my calendar. I do have a half hour FaceTime on sale for $35 as well as a love money and any messages from your guides uh 2024 facetime forecast it is a 40 minute facetime for 55 or you can uh, have the same version in recorded for 45 both of them you can access by going to the book now if you would like to enter to win a half hour facetime reading you can do that by liking subscribing and entering reading it will be drawn on the 31st so let's hop into this. This is for all zodiac signs, but at, we are going to have chapters. We're going to do a general for everyone, and then we are going to see what is it that your person does not want you to know um, for water, for air, for fire, for earth. So the chapters will be down below. I suggest you watch the general reading, the general portion to make sure you get all the messages that are needed. So tell me, Spirit, what is it that the collective's person does not want them to know, please? What messages do we have for them? Oh boy, Knight of Swords energy here. There's some shift in, in, in the energy. High Priestess, this person is guarded. They've, they're keeping some secrets. You could be a Pisces. You could be an air sign. They could be. There's some inner knowing here this person has. They've been making too quick of decisions. They feel like they've made too quick of a decision when it comes to your relationship. Somebody here could really like horses. You could have a horse. You could have a few horses. Three of Cups energy. They've been socializing a lot, going out too much. Four of Wands. For some of you, this person knows that you, you all have some kind of um, special bond. This is a situation where you're dealing with someone who has an inner knowing that there's something special between y'all, but this person hasn't spoke on it. They could drink a lot. This person could drink too much. Um, they could go out too much, listen to friends too much. Friends' opinions are always uh, chirping in this person's ear about your relationship. I don't know why, but um, oh, clearly I do. I get messages through numbers, and my guides were asking me to mention the number 711. Uh, 711. You may want to, want to Google 711 uh, in love. If somebody feels called to do that and put it in the comment section, I will pin it down below. There is a message in angel number 711. Pregnancy, new love, new start, and children. Some of you could have children to this person. Unfortunately, for some of you, this person doesn't want you to know that they have gotten someone else pregnant or pregnant. No, do not panic. Um, this is probably for, I, I feel, about 25% of you, but I also feel most of you know. You, this person could have went back to someone they have children with and you, you already know. They feel like you don't know non-committal flaky and flings family comfort and familiar you see what i mean this person may be having a fling with somebody they have children with they could have went back to someone they have a family with now for some of you who have a family with this person they have been uh rushing in and out of your life but also having flings and acting like a player out here on these streets and they do not want you to know that even though you already do you're showing up as the high priestess you already know you already absolutely know what this person is up to but again friends i, I i'm telling you there's something going on with friends guys and this person, their friends are toxic. Their friends are are, are um, talking them into doing things that, you know, they shouldn't be doing. They could be getting advice from friends, really terrible advice, advice that is not good for your relationship at all. They don't want you to know something about a friend as well. There could be a friend that has recently told you something about this person and they've had a falling out with them because of it. Spirit's asking you to take a closer look. This person is living in a fantasy they're living in a fantasy world here. They're, they're, they think they're hiding things from you, but they're actually not. 
you're already aware of what this person has been up to, what they're out here doing. What is it that they do not want the collective to know, please? KW could mean something to you. There's influences, there's third parties and peers, and there's a lot of influences around this person that they don't want you to know about. For some of you, this person's had a falling out with a friend because this friend or will told you about what they've been doing. This person has karmic partners. There's been repeated patterns. It's a past life relationship. They're experiencing deja vu. They're not telling you that they're having past life dreams. There's an infatuation, there's an addiction, there's been dishonesty, they've been elusive here, they've been a bit obsessive as well. This person is, is infatuated, they absolutely adore you, but they're trying to act as if they don't because of friends, because of what friends think, because of, of somebody they may be with, a, a the mother or father of their child. So they're trying to act as if they don't care, but they, they actually are obsessing, thinking of you a lot. Tell me about these friends. What What is the problem with them? Five of Pentacles, that, that for some of you, it's the reason why this person lets you out in the cold. Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, this person um, wants to run around acting like they're single, like they're a player, like they're a thought, whatever, because of friends. They're friend, they may have a lot of single friends. They may have a lot of friends who go out, pop bottles here, uh, party a lot. And it's preventing um, this person from living in their full truth. I know it sounds crazy that grown ass people do this, but they do. If they have three friends that are single and go out every night of the week and have fun and, 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 you know, uh, really, really party a lot, it, it, they, it makes them want to act that way as well. Even though down deep inside, that's not who this person is. There seems to be something new that's happened in this person's life that they're trying to keep from you. This could be an earth sign or a water sign, especially if you are an earth sign or a water sign. There's something going on with friends that's happened recently that they are afraid uh, is going to get back to you. Somebody here could be wearing something red. Um, somebody here could have a black and white dog. King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This person loves status. They love to look like they're in big D energy here. This is somebody who is actually very generous and very caring. They could possibly help out their friends and family. They could be the person that everybody goes to. They like having that reputation of being like the man or the person who solves everyone's problems. And it seems to affect your relationship in great ways. This person um, may be getting money from others as well. That's another message. Some of you are dealing with someone who uh, gets involved with third parties or karmics for money. They don't want you to know that somebody is giving them money. Mm -mm -mm. So let's move on to the signs. We're going to um, hop in here and start with water. You're going to see if you are dealing with a water sign or you are a water sign, what they do not want you to know. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, let's hop directly into this. Spirit, tell me if, if you are, they are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or are one, what is it that this person does not want them to know, please? Letting go, moving on, walking away, hitting a limit, final straw, overwhelmed and breaking point. They're confused, confusion. They're unclear about what it is they want. They're unsure if walking away from you was the right decision. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you are one, this person does not know why are they hitting a breaking point if they've made the right decision. They could be trying to release third parties. They could be trying to walk away from third parties. They want to return and come in with an apology. This person seems to want to apologize, but they're very confused. They're they're almost at, they're, they're on the verge of coming back in and apologizing. 
They're they're crazy in love with you. They feel like you um have done something. You have went through a glow up. Like you're looking really good. Like you are working on your best self or your best life. They're drunk in love. They want to return. They want your forgiveness, but they are afraid. Um to walk away from these friends, to walk away from these karmics. What does this person have to say to Cancer Pisces Scorpio, please? What do they have to say? This person seems to want to come back with an apology, but they are afraid. They feel like you look your very best. Yeah, they've been wordless here. They've had no words. There is so much for me to tell you, but I am unable to express myself in a rational way. So I would rather keep quiet. If you're dealing with a water sign or you are one, this person is about to confess. They're about to come in here. They're very uncertain. They know they owe you an apology, but they see you living your best life or they feel like you are working on your revenge body. Some of you have been uh, working out a lot. You've been taking better care of yourself. You're going through a big glow up. That is how you should be emerging. Anytime you're in a soul connection, it is for your growth, for your healing. And um, if you really want to win, you will start looking your best, doing your best, and feeling your best. That energy is felt by the other person. So if you're not working on uh, a new you, you may want to start. But most of you are. You're doing something here that this person sees that you're looking really good. Some of you had your body done. Some of you here did something major, got a new job or promotion or, you, you know, there's something that you've done that's quite major. Tell me what this person's going to do. Death here, rebirth. Again, you're going through a bit of a rebirth. This person wants to end something. They want to allow something to end so they can come in here and tell you the truth. Ace of Swords, Death, as well as the Five of Swords. There's a lot of people and opinions involved. They want to come tell you the truth about what's been going on in their life. They want to come express their self to you fully. If you're dealing with a water sign or you are one, this person wants to come on in and give you some kind of truth. They, they, they are allowing something to, to um, fall away in their life, most likely a relationship with a third party. And they're really uncertain on if, if you're going to take them back or if you even want them back. And they've had no words. They haven't been able to speak or express their self to you. I do have a snoring ba baby puppy in the background if you're new to my channel. I'm sorry. It is my Luna. She is snoring um, and really getting it in this morning. My apologies if it's annoying. Moving on here to fire. If you are dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign, let's see. What is it that they do not want Leo, Aries, Sag to know? or if they are one spirit. Abandoned, left out, walked away, cold. This person feels like you're abandoning them now. Some of you, this person started to get distant. So you said, okay, fine, I'm gonna go on down the road now. I'll see you later. And now they're feeling abandoned by you. They're getting sidetracked, there's delays. They want a second chance. They wanna make amends. They want a new opportunity to make it right. If you're dealing with a fire sign or you are one, this person wants to come in and make things right. They feel left out. They feel like you've been very cold to them. And rightfully so, I would presume. They are uh, fooling you. They're, they're deceitful. They feel like you're gullible. I'm not saying you are. Somebody here could have uh, platinum hair. This person seems to think that you are gullible in some way. They're under some love spell here. They've lost control of their life. They're being divinely guided. They're seeing signs and synchronicities everywhere. If you're dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign, let me tell you, this person sees signs and synchronicities abound. They're everywhere. They can't get away from you. 
<laughs> you're haunting them guys this person everywhere they go there's number synchronicities there's your name there's your smell there's all sorts of reminders of you this person feels like they have nowhere to run tell me what do they have to say to to um leo sagittarius or aries free will here they want to take independent action they're tired of having constraints i want to be able to make my own decisions and not feel bound to by our connection nor the opinions of others i'm ready to commit and i'm sure of what the future holds this person wants to commit in some way they want to make a free will decision there could be people around you people in your life that um are talking to this person and and giving them good advice or there could be people's opinions around them that you know aren't for this relationship but they don't care they're doing it anyway they, they don't care Tell me what they plan to do. King of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Devil. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or someone with a lot of earth in their chart. They're focused on money. They want to come in and work with you in some way. They want to release their self from some, um, bind, you know, they're, they're binded, they're bound to somebody. Somebody here could have a black cat with, with really green eyes. This person feels like they are shackled and chained to something or somebody. They want to release their self to this. They may be dealing with addictions. They may be dealing with materialism, something of, of the sort. But this person wants to release their self from these chains. They feel like they're, they're bound. I'm just hearing binded. They feel like they're stuck possibly with, with a mother or father of their child or, or in a relationship or a, a group of people that they don't want to be anymore. They want to make a free will decision to get out. They may come in and tell you that, fire signs. Moving on here to earth, if you're dealing with an earth sign or you are a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, let's see, what does the person on, on the earth sign's mind, what are they trying to hide, please, spirit? Fantasy, memories here, there's bittersweet memories, this person feels like there's been no closure They've been reminiscing, they've been dwelling, they've been fantasizing and daydreaming about you, daydreaming about being with you, about times you've spent together, about what it would be like to be with, with you. Tell me, what does this person not want them to know, please? They have a lot of memories. They could be having um, actual dreams. Self-love, boundaries, healing, and grace. They feel like you are giving yourself a lot of self-love. But again, with nostalgia, this person is so nostalgic. It, it really, they're longing for you. There's a lot of memories this person, you may have made with this person. Some of you were with them for a long time. They want to restore peace. This person wants to come in and restore some kind of harmony. They may be giving their self self-love and actually trying to heal, actually trying to, you know, um, get their self together. They seem to have so many memories of you and, and your relationship that it is haunting to them. What do they have to say if to the earth signs or those dealing with a earth sign, please? I want to commit to you. I want to hold your hand in sickness and health. I want to walk into the sunset with you and never look back. I need to release certain commitments fully so I can be with you. This person wants to come in and be in a true union with you. They want to come into true union. Some of you, you could have been separated for six months. It, it, it's been a while. You've been in separation for quite some time and this person is just really overwhelmed. Um, with thoughts of you 
with commitments outside of your relationship. They feel as if, um, what if we can't make this work? They're starting to get worried that maybe you're moving forward. What are they going to do? Oh my goodness. We're not going to take those. I don't feel guided to. High Priest in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Magician in the Seven of Swords in reverse. This person wants to come in and tell you about a breakup they're going through. Some of you, you were with this person. You had a family or, or, or a life with this person. You separated. They meant somebody new. And now they want to come in and tell you about uh, having some kind of breakup. They're trying to manifest you back. They're trying to be hopeful. This is somebody here that could be a Virgo. Um, or you could be, it could be a Taurus. A lot of you here, um, this person wants to come clean about another relationship that they seem to be leaving behind. Um, you seem to know that they're in a relationship with someone else. Um, this person may come in and tell you that there has been a breakup. This could be somebody from long ago. This could be somebody you knew in high school and you all just started talking again or something like that. That is for somebody here for sure. It's just a message that I have. They have fantasized about being with you for years. You all could have had families uh, outside your relationship and um, now you're both coming back together into true union. It is very beautiful. It, it will be a very beautiful union very good last but not least if you're dealing with an air sign or you are an air sign a gemini libra aquarius uh this message is for you let's get a look at what is it that the air signs person or the air sign doesn't want them to know that they're shallow they're empty and they're bored they feel bored they feel empty this person seems to feel hollow without you. They feel like you um, completed them. I'm hearing you complete me. Um, there's telepathy. There's an inner knowing. This person here, um, they're becoming aware of your value. Air signs. They're finally understanding your value here. They've been shallow and bored. What do they not want the air signs to know? Somebody here could be a diver. You could have scuba dived with this person. They want it all with you, though. They but they want to eat, they want to eat their cake. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. They're in depression, in regret. They're lonely. I'm telling you, this person is lonely without you. They feel heartache. They feel pain. Somebody here could definitely be a swimmer, a surfer, a diver, something like this. They're frozen, though. They're stagnant. They have shut down. This person has shut all the way down. They're just sad. They feel really sad without you. They don't want you to know this, though. Uh, for one reason or another, most likely it's because this person is shallow. They're afraid to tell you how much they miss you and how empty they are without you. If you're dealing with an air sign or you are an air sign, let me tell you, this person is hollow, but they've been in denial. I realize that there's something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much too soon, and I have other things to deal with. This person's been in denial of your connection. They've been in denial that the reason why they're sad and depressed is because you're no longer in their life. They feel like things move too fast, too soon between the two of you. They needed a longer time to make a decision. And you may have said no. You need to make a decision now. So this person didn't make any at all and you all separated. Or they haven't made up their mind. They won't give you an answer about reconciliation. They're trying to just... Uh, this person's trying to go within listen to their intuition what are they going to do queen of wands energy there could be a third party involved but this person wants to get enough courage they want to step up into the emperor but they're in their mind going round and round they've created a mental prison 
if you're dealing with an air sign they they really cannot seem to decide they need to balance out their masculine and feminine energy too is another message i'm getting they could be dealing with a dark haired third party you could have light hair you, you all seem to be opposite you may have children to them they could have children to somebody else that keeps them stuck they feel sad empty frozen and stagnant this is a situation where they've got to make some kind of change and they realize this if they don't soon they're going to lose you this could be an aries mm -mm -mm. i wish you the very best there i do now these last final messages are for the group are for everyone um those that are still watching these are personal messages for you the chapters will be down below tell me spirit what is the message that we have for the collective about their life you don't need anyone else to fix you expectations don't seek anyone's approval and storm number 44 every hurricane comes to an end the divine wants to let you know that um if you have been waiting for something it's about to come in don't allow anyone to make you feel like you are not good enough or that they they can fix you. It would be unguided not to seek anybody's approval. Something could happen somewhere around the 12th of January. People will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are almost always based on restrictive social norms and therefore are extremely unrealistic. No matter what they tell you, Remember that you have the permission to be whoever it is you want to be. You do not need anyone else's approval, only yours. Spirit wants to let you know that no matter what other people think of you, what they think of your relationships, what they think in general, this is your life. At the end of the day, we are born alone and we die alone. You are the only one left inside your mind. Um, it doesn't matter who you're laying next to. If you're not good with you, um, you're never going to be good with anything in life. Number 44. Just when you th thought things were taking a turn for the better, in came a hurricane of hurt. Now you find yourself utterly exhausted from trying to survive it all. Rest assured, the clouds are finally starting to part, making room for a much-needed sun. Like the clouds, you should let go of the past or present pain in order to make room for something better. There's new things coming into your life. There's new things about to manifest in, guys. Be your authentic self. Allow yourself to enjoy uh, the present moment. Let go of the past and do not ruminate on the future. Someone is trying to convince you that you're broken beyond repair. Unless you accept their helping hand, of course. If someone offers to fix some part of you, it's not because they're being selfless or kind. They know you are in a vulnerable place and want to make you entirely codependent. Tell them no, thank you. You know exactly how to put the gold in your own cracks. Some of you may be dealing with a person who knows that you are in a vulnerable place because of a breakup and they're trying to slide in and take advantage of that. Some of you may be in a situation where um, people around you like it when you're vulnerable. They like it when, when you're in a bad place. You can feel that from them. And the divine is letting you know that you have the ability to heal yourself. You don't need anybody else. You have you. All of those messages are about you becoming your best self, allowing yourself to go through this glow up, allowing this relationship to help you grow and heal and become your best self. How beautiful does that sound? I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. And you tell yourself, Today is going to be the best Wednesday I've ever had. Today is the best fucking Wednesday I've ever had. Love and light.